Dice Dice Kitty back again with Mr. DDK and we have acquired this ginormous board game from Gale Force 9 called Star Trek Ascendancy. It's so big I don't even really have to hold it up to the camera, I just kind of hold it up. Uh, uh, we first came across mm -hmm. this uh, beauty of a game uh, back at Origins. You did. I, I had seen it prior to that, but <laughs> I'm the board gamer, he's not. So, <laughs> unless it's Star Trek related, then he'll play it. Yes, yes I will. But yeah, he saw this for the first time this last year at Origins. So, we finally got our hands on a copy of it. And we're going to unbox it and show y'all the goodies that are in it and what they look like when they first come out of the box. Let's shake the dew off this lily. <laughs> All right. Can't wait to go back and talk to Gale Force Nine again. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> wow. Uh, coming up at Origins this next year. All right. So, and that would be Origins 2019. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the first sheet of tokens. I like to punch things uh, with my fist, but also punch them out. So. <laughs> This, I can attest to that. This, uh, I've never punched you. Don't even. <laughs> I punch you with my words. Spells for this. <laughs> All right, here's the next sheet of tokens. Oh, I can't wait to punch these out. This is going to be so much fun. I love to punch things. She's talking about that, but she gets scolded me for punching stuff out earlier. Because we were in the middle of another video. That's why I'm putting these over there so he can't punch these out in the middle of this video. Here's no another fun. sheet. Ruining my fun. Oh, whatever. <laughs> How many sheets are there? I don't know, but there's a ton of stuff. Here's another sheet. So that is what? Four? One, two, yeah, four. three, four giant sheets of tokens. That's the first thing that come out of the box. We have one of Gale Force Nine's classic rule books which is like a bazillion pages thick. But let me tell you, I would much rather have rule books like this that go over everything and cover everything in detail than a skimpy rule book that don't tell you nothing. So kudos, Gale Force 9 has some of the best rule books. Uh, there are some other companies that do as well, but this video is about Gale Force 9. The planets, the unexplored stuff. That's what's in this. You can open that if you want. Oh, goody. Yeah, I'm letting you do something. You should be happy. Okay. <laughs> we have, I'm not even sure what all this stuff is called yet because I've played this game once before and loved it. So, don't know what all the technical terms are for the tokens and the goodies. So, let's see. These are command consoles. We have a Federation one. We have a Romulan one, which I won't be playing. I will be playing Klingons. All right, so that's what those are. Oh, we've also got like some little flyer pages in here. Wow. So in fall of 2016, guys, Ferengi. Yeah. <laughs> We're in 20, 2019. Haha, <laughs> joke. But yeah, so, oh, there's your Cardassians. <laughs> we know what we'll be buying at Origins this year. Oh, no. And a code for an online ship, Star Trek online ship. Ooh, no, cool. I didn't show the code. It's on the back of the paper. Oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, so there are dice in here as well, and it looks like there's some different sizes. Uh, dice. You've got the one big die, and then you got a bunch of little dice. And like I said, I've played this once. I forget what all the little dice are for. It's been a long time since I played this game. No, I'm, yeah, I'm sitting here holding them and you keep pulling stuff yeah. out and I go to put them in oh, and yank well, them back out. I, I wanted to hold them up. Look, giant cardboard token planets. Of course. Yay. Unexplored. There's Kronos, the Klingon homeworld. And Romulus, the Romulan one. We don't talk about Romulans. I don't like Romulus. Oh, this reminds me of something. What? Dangerous floral? Flora. Not flora. Flora. 
done. <laughs> you can open those if nah, you want. Nah, I'm done. <laughs> Dangerous Flora is the name of the card. <laughs> Doesn't change what I was thinking about. Okay, advancement cards are these. There's some for Klingons and Romulans and Federation. Yeah, yeah. All right, we've got some exploration cards. I think that's what they're called since it says exploration on the back of them. Well, I can't even get them open. Okay. <laughs> they are very well packaged. Your cards are not going to scatter throughout the box in shipping. <laughs> that's cute. That's something to say about it. Exploration cards. There's quite a few of those. All right, this has got like turn order and stuff on. I'm not sure what these cards are for. Maybe fleet cards, possibly. These are I don't remember. Turn order cards. Okay. Exploration. Well, I had some over there too. I thought the exploration. Has a cube. I was gonna say I thought there were supposed to be some more of those. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll let you open that one. It doesn't want to open for me. You give me the hard stuff. Alright, then we've got some that says trade agreement on it. Let's see if I can find those on this list of stuff. Trade They're called trade you. trade agreement cards, so. <laughs> trade agreement. Big old stack of exploration cards. Let's see. Mm. This is player turn cards. And it's also got fleet cards in it. Oops, they're all the same size there. Whoa, I'm dropping stuff. Player turn cards. And then all kinds of the fleet cards. Turn order cards. Yeah, that's what I was trying to open and they wouldn't open for me. They didn't like me. All right, so that's turn order cards. All right, we're still not done. There's still more stuff in the box. That's pretty sweet right there. These are awesome. This is what I loved about it to begin with, was how detailed these little plastic pieces are. These are the Klingon ships. I'm trying to get it up there where you can see it. They're teeny tiny, but super detailed. So there's a whole bag of Klingons with a Vorcha class. And then I can never say the name of this ship. It's a Dideridex or something. I call it a Dedrix because I can't pronounce it. That's Romulan ones. He's already reading the rules. Look at him. Whoops. Actually, I'm looking at this picture and it's amusing the fire out of me. Uh, that's the Duras sisters. <laughs> what was tickling me is the Klingon behind them. Yeah, that's not Duras. I can't remember his name, though. No. But, uh, He's good, like, mm. good choice on the pictures there, Gale Force 9. And here's a Galaxy class for the Federation folks. Those are the little tokens. Big old bag of those. And then we've got... Now, these have a different base on them because they fit inside of these things here. So it's just like the other tokens, but this little fleet marker has a little slot in the top of it, and you put the ship on it like so. And that represents one of your fleets. And there are several different fleet markers and they all have different numbers on them. See, I vaguely remember that. I do not remember what these are for. Oh, yes, I do. I was like, I don't recognize these. These are the little slider pieces. You attach them to your uh, your card here. So, yes, I do remember those. They just look different when they're not attached to the cards. All right. Uh, there's Klingon ones. You got face palm the card in here. Yes. Epic. There they are. I missed them. There's the Federation ones. Now these I don't remember. I didn't get to finish my game and we didn't get very far when I played it. So I don't remember what these are. Let me see if I can look up. Civilization? 
What? Each civilization has their own starships uh, which explore the galaxy. These are civilizations. Yeah. I don't remember what these are called. And like I said, I don't remember us using them, but we could have and I just don't remember. It's very possible. Federation, Romulan, Klingon, and then we've got some resources here. Resource nodes. Looks like culture, production, and research. So, that's all the goodies in the box. Let me slide that over there. Here's the culture ones. These are also really detailed. And I know that my camera and the view on it does not do it justice. Because they are really cool looking in person. Here's research. It looks like an observatory. They are pretty sweet. They're super detailed for being so small. I love it. This game is extremely aesthetically pleasing. Couldn't talk for a second. This is being dropped on the table. <laughs> Production... All right, well, that was a load of stuff in this giant box. I can't wait to play. Now we just get a Shanghai third person. Oh, we can find a third person. Anyway, Gal Force 9, this is a pretty impressive box of goodies. Can't wait to play again, and hopefully we'll see you guys again at Origins. Live long and prosper, and glory to the Empire. Kapla. Couple.